I love ya. Mark, I love ya. Mark, I love ya. Mark, I love ya. I love ya. I love ya. Hey everybody, could you use some good news? Well, let's start with this. NASA's Kepler mission has discovered the smallest extrasolar planet yet found to be orbiting a sun-like star. The planet, dubbed Kepler 37b, is one of three planets orbiting a star approximately 210 light years away. It's approximately the size of Earth's moon, probably has no atmosphere, and a surface temperature estimated at 800 degrees Fahrenheit, which makes it a poor candidate to support life as we know it. The significance of the find isn't in the habitability of the planet, but the size. The earliest exoplanets discovered were all gas giants. The discovery of a planet the size of Kepler 37b demonstrates how much better we've gotten at planet hunting just in the relatively short period of time that we've been doing it. And in case you're wondering, the Kepler mission alone has confirmed the existence of over 100 exoplanets with over 2,000 possible candidate planets yet to be confirmed. How about this? Aaron Roberts, a scientist who works at the Goddard Space Flight Center, has devised a series of equations that, for the first time, are capable of accurately describing and perhaps even predicting the solar wind. The solar wind is the name we give to the stream of particles, mostly electrons and protons, constantly released into the solar system by the sun. The solar wind has been observed and measured for decades, but because of its seemingly random movement, it's been difficult to model. The equations devised by Roberts result in models that closely match observations of the solar wind, which allow more accurate models, which in turn will pave the way for even more accurate observations. Understanding the solar wind is important because it can disrupt communications with spacecraft. Think of it as trying to predict the weather, not of Earth, but of the solar system. Finally, the Curiosity rover has obtained its first rock sample after drilling a two and a half inch hole into the Martian bedrock. Some bits of powdered rock might not seem like a big deal, but they represent the first rock sample ever taken from beneath the surface of another planet. It's an important first step, years in the making, and like virtually everything else about the Curiosity mission, incredibly exciting. Curiosity will now analyze the sample using its onboard instruments. NASA's Kepler mission discovers the smallest exoplanet yet, a scientist lays the groundwork for the first accurate models of the solar wind, and Curiosity collects its first sample of Mars rock. You know, occasionally some of you will comment on the videos in this series wondering why I spend so much time talking about science news, or asking how the discovery of a new exoplanet or the new image of a star cluster or a galaxy counts as good news. And I consider them to be good news for two reasons. First, they represent knowledge, our ever-expanding understanding of the universe, of where we come from, of where we are, and therefore of who we are. And second, personally I find the awesome splendor of the universe to be a big pick-me-up. Bad news is everywhere, and good news, real good news, can be very hard to find sometimes. That's why when I started this series, I wanted to focus on real good news, not the kind of sappy human interest stories that you're most likely to find when you search for good news on the internet. I wanted to talk to you about truly exciting, inspiring, encouraging, positive things that are happening, advancements in human rights promising new medical breakthroughs, exciting scientific discoveries, and yeah, sometimes just a really cool picture of stars or galaxies. Because I don't know about you, but when the news is nothing but crime and war and natural disasters and self-serving impotent politicians, I can always use a reminder of how beautiful the larger universe is and how fortunate we all are to be here to see it and to be a part of it. That's the good news. Help me! Help me! Oh, she's chewing on my hand. You sweet little thing. Am I upsetting you right now? Do you wish I'll just put you down? Hmm? Okay, I'll put you down, okay.
Go run away. Go run away. Okay, or just sit there. That's cool. Oh, I got you again! I got the kitty again! Oh.